NCAA College Football 2K3 was a mediocre game. Some people loved it, but most critics and players alike thought the game was underwhelming, especially compared to EA's feature-rich and more polished NCAA football series. When I first heard about this game, I got really excited, thinking it would be a college version of NFL 2K5. Instead, it's more like a reskinned NFL 2K2 with some nice additions, but overall the game feels like a port from the Sega Dreamcast. That said, some people, including myself, felt as if EA's football games had very arcade-like gameplay. While NCAA 2K3 wasn't as deep of a game, I actually enjoy the gameplay a lot more than I did in EA's NCAA Football 2003. This all comes down to personal preference, but there's something really interesting about a college football game made by 2K. This game, by the way, was 2K's second and final college game, which is honestly a huge bummer. The jump from NFL 2K3 to NFL 2K4 was massive, as the updated game engine brought us basically the same gameplay we have in NFL 2K5 and All Pro Football 2K8. Had 2K prolonged their college football series at least one or two more years, we probably would have seen that newer engine, many know and love, bringing college football to life. In the same way people revere NFL 2K5's gameplay, imagine the legacy and impact of a college football 2K5. Instead, however, we were left with 2K3, and despite not living up to that dream scenario and running on an older engine, there is a lot of fun to be found in this game. It's just really hard not to try and imagine what if, when you see how great of a job 2K did with their college hoops games, and how fantastic the gameplay and presentation of NFL 2K5 was. So what exactly did we get with NCAA College Football 2K3? The game begins with a cool intro featuring Dan Patrick, which will be familiar for those who played the 2K NFL games before 2K4, and then it cuts to the main menu, and you get to hear that incredible soundtrack begin. The main menu and game modes layout will be familiar to those who played the 2K football games. Practice mode, for example, has special move, where you control one player running around a field to test out the controls. Create a school is there, but it's basically just choosing a pre-created template and giving it a name. When going through play now, you cannot change your team's uniform, which is a real disappointment. But upon starting a game, you can start to understand why this game has its small dedicated fan base. The commentary team is great, and they go over keys to the game while showing players warming up and stretching, along with players to watch, and then you're met with an actual coin toss presentation. The charge mechanic is here from NFL 2K, allowing you to hold down a button to charge it up and then do a super powered juke or truck. Quarterbacks can throw while getting hit and the game has a very organic feel to its gameplay. Just like in other 2K football games, it feels like on any play, anything can happen. The play select screen is a bit weird to go back to, but it's actually kind of cool as it shows the play art on the actual field. The thing about 2K3's gameplay is that it is basically the same thing as NFL 2K2, only with college teams, uniforms, and stadiums. The game has a college feel, with the marching bands playing songs after touchdowns for example, but it doesn't really stand out. The game has no sliders, and lacks a ton of options found in NFL 2K3. While there is fun to be found in the gameplay, it really wasn't great at all and is aged pretty poorly. It's almost frustrating to play if you've played later 2K football games, because you know if they had one or two more years to develop college football games we would have had a gem on our hands. Despite the dated gameplay, lack of options, and bare bones feel to the game, if you're burnt out on EA's college football games, it's fun to come back to this game for a change of pace. The dynasty mode is alright, you pick a school and go through 30 seasons recruiting players, redshirting them, playing your games, and more of what you'd expect to see. You can only choose Division 1 schools, however, which takes away that fun option of building a no-name school into a powerhouse, but it does have a cool spring training mode. Other than that, however, it compares very poorly to EA's College Football Dynasty modes from that era. You can import draft classes from this game into NFL 2K3, which is a pretty cool option to have. But that's really all there is to say about this game. 
So as you can tell, I'm not too high on it. I found the game disappointing, so why am I making a video about it? I found that most people had no idea this game even existed. If you ask someone if they knew 2K made college football games, they'd probably have no idea. They made 2K2 on Dreamcast, which was a good start, and then 2K3 on Xbox, GameCube, and PS2, which was more of the same. But the potential of this series is what really gets me interested. Imagining the halftime shows, the SportsCenter weekly wrap-ups, the gameplay, and the depth of an NFL 2K5 makes me crave a college version. Imagine the crib in 2K5 being a college dorm in a college football game, for example. The potential here was crazy. 2K stopped producing the series to focus more on their NFL, NBA, and MLB titles, as it didn't sell very well and was far behind EA's college games at the time. A recent development that I recently saw, however, brought this game back into my mind. Someone who claimed to work at 2K posted in a forum that 2K is bidding for and currently winning the rights to creating a new NCAA football game. This could easily be someone making it all up, but what if it's real? What if 2K is coming back to make a college game? It would be very interesting, that's for sure. But for now, it's just speculation. However, I wanted to point it out because that's just crazy. What if it turns out to be true? The only other competitor to EA's college football titles was the NCAA Game Breaker series, which ended shortly after. NCAA College Football 2K3 was not a great game, but I do think it was a special game. Being 2K's second and final college football entry, it's a game many people never even knew existed. Some people enjoyed it and have fond memories of it, but overall it was mediocre at best. It's more of a tale of what could have been, given how great 2K's football titles developed over the next few years. And maybe we will see that potential come to fruition in the future if there is any truth to the rumors. If you've never played it before, I do think it's worth a look, and although the game is lacking depth, the gameplay is still 2K football at heart. And many people have always preferred that over the more arcade style of football EA put out in those years. Thanks for watching.